Uh, good afternoon from Washington. We're in Bob Schieffer's office today, and that's because there's supposed to be a big debate up on Capitol Hill. It was the Senate resolution uh, to, uh, to tell the president how they felt about sending 21,000 troops into Iraq. But all of a sudden, it hasn't happened, and we haven't had the uh, historic uh, debate we thought. What happened? Yeah, well, the Senate's got itself all tangled up in these procedural uh, things, and, uh, and basically, they, they've tied up all work in the Senate for right now. What's really going on, you've got three groups up on Capitol Hill mm -hmm. in the Senate right now. Republicans who don't have to want run for re-election, Republicans who do have to run for re-election, and the Democrats. Now, the Republicans that have to run for re-election right. want to get on the record separating themselves from the president's war policy. But so far, the Republicans who don't want to run have managed to tie this up because they don't want to embarrass the president. That's what's going on here. And, and you told me you thought this is a victory for the president, isn't it? So far, so good. I mean, yeah. as long as he can not have a vote. But the Democrats are saying it may come back to bite him because they say if the impression gets out in the country that the Republicans are blocking a vote and this, having the Senate have a debate on whether we ought to have troops in Iraq, they say that'll come back to haunt the president. And the other body in the House, in, in, this, in the Congress? Well, the House has been waiting for the Senate to act on this resolution. Right. Today they decided that if they're going to drag it out like this, they're going to go ahead and have some kind of a resolution to vote on over there. Most people at this point, and you can't filibuster and keep it from being voted on in the House, right. most people uh, now believe that the Democrats will get as many as 30, possibly 40 Republicans that will go okay. along with a resolution criticizing the president's war policy. Okay, so we're uh, hoping that by the time the evening news goes on the air tonight that we'll have more of a resolution on what goes on in the Senate. And of course, we're also going to be talking about this story about the astronaut who has been uh, held for attempted kidnapping, apparently for going after a rival lover's girlfriend. So we'll, we'll have more on that on the evening news with Katie Couric tonight, too. Thanks for watching.